this video, we're going to talk about setting up the vacuum filtration. We use this trap to protect our vacuum lines. And so there's these quick connects on top and you'll want to clamp this up. And I like to just use an iron ring at the top. And this just makes everything stable. The sidearm flask will be top heavy with the filter uh, when we go to filter. And so if that falls over, it can cause your um, filter solutions to spill and make a mess. So just like everything else, clamp it up, have it nice and stable. So I'll use an extension clamp to hold the filter flask. And then notice on the Buchner funnel, this is going to be for the Buchner funnel, that there's a, a neoprene fitment on the bottom there. You want to size that to make sure it fits in your flask because if it's too small, it sucks in to the inside and makes it difficult. So here I put it, there's a nice fitting there and it makes a nice vacuum seal. So I'll pre-weigh a filter paper and then label that with the mass on the filter paper and pencil. And then I place it into the, to the filter. And then I'll add a little bit of water or the solvent, usually water in these, that we'll be filtering out of. And that makes a good seal. So that way the solution doesn't go around that back in so unfortunately the angle I filmed in it blocked but so I'm just adding a little water to it now I'm adding my solution then I'm filtering and putting it into the middle of it there'll be a little bit of the solid left on the side and so as you rinse your filter um, the, as you rinse the material if you'll just rinse the filter flask then um, it helps you to transfer everything over So you'll usually let it run, especially when we're filtering down the water, just leaving the airflow flowing and for five minutes and that'll help it dry. Then you'll just remove the quick connect to break the vacuum and then you can pull out the, the, the top, the filter, and now just simply sliding the spatula under, you can transfer it to this aluminum boat that we use and try and collect most of the material and then in this lab this was out of water so we'll use the, the heat vat to further dry it